When you have a baby, there are so many things you need to take care of, especially ensuring that your newborn has all the correct vaccinations. In today's video, we have pediatrician Dr. Wendy. She will be sharing with you all the different types of newborn vaccinations and how they protect your baby. Hello, I'm Dr. Wendy, a general pediatrician, and I'm based at the Kids Clinic at Mount Alvernia Hospital. Um, I look after children of various ages, starting from newborn onwards. We do have national immunisation scheduled in Singapore and I will talk you through that now. At birth, babies are usually administered BCG and their first hepatitis B vaccine. At one month, they are supposed to receive the second hepatitis B vaccination. At three months, they are given the 5-in-1 vaccination, which comprises of the diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, which is the whooping cough, polio and haemophilus influenza type B. That's all for the third month visit. At the fourth month visit, they are given a second shot of the 5-in-1 vaccination and given the first pneumococcal vaccination. At six months, they are given the third dose of hepatitis B followed by a third 5-in-1 vaccination plus the pneumococcal vaccination. That would be the second pneumococcal vaccination. This takes care of the baby's immunization schedule for the first six months. Following that, the next vaccination is only due at the age of one when the child is given their first MMR or measles, mumps, rubella and the booster of the pneumococcal vaccination. That's the third pneumococcal vaccination. Then between 15 to 18 months, they're due their second lot of measles, mumps and rubella or MMR vaccination. At 18 months, they need to have their five in one booster vaccination. So this is a run through of all the compulsory vaccinations that all children should be having from birth till 18 months and the next lot of compulsory vaccination is usually only given at 11 years or at primary 5. Apart from compulsory vaccinations, there are highly recommended vaccinations, one of them being the rotavirus vaccination. This is an oral vaccination and is usually administered in two or three doses depending on the brand of the vaccine before the child turns six months of age. This protects against rotavirus gastroenteritis which is one of the commonest causes of diarrhea and vomiting in babies, young children and even adults. The other optional vaccination is of course the chickenpox vaccination or varicella vaccination. This is offered after one year of age and to get maximal protection, we advise getting at least two doses three months apart. Yet another more topical uh, optional vaccination is the influenza vaccination. Uh, currently, we are seeing a lot of children with influenza uh, infection and it is highly recommended that the child gets vaccinated against the influenza. In Singapore, immunizations for diphtheria and measles are compulsory. Be sure to make an appointment with a doctor today to have your child well protected. 